Chapter 7 Body Fluids and Circulation. And the subtopic is Origin and Conduction of Orbits, Cardiac Cycle, and Blood Pressure. So, in previous class, already explained the concept of body fluids and circulation. Among the various bodies, body fluids in our body, the blood is very important part because it uh, transport all the substances from one part to another part, you know. So, in this body fluids and circulation, origin and conduction of heartbeat is very important. So, human heart is myogenic heart. There are two types of heart. Some heart are neurogenic, some other heart are myogenic. But human heart is myogenic heart. Myogenic. What is myogenic? Our heart is made up of a special kind of muscles. That muscles are called cardiac muscles. So this specialized muscles in our heart is cardiac muscles. Because the heartbeat is initiated by specialized cells in the heart. Hence it is called myogenic. Some other insect heart is neurogenic because the heartbeat is initiated by nerves. So our heart is very important. It is a myogenic. It is one of the one more question, you know. So what is a, which part of our heart is initiate? The contraction and relaxation. So the specialized cell which are present is called the cardiomyocytes. Cardiomyocytes. What is meaning of cardiomyocytes? The cells that make up the muscle of the heart are the cardiac muscles. The cells that make up the muscle of the heart is called cardiomyocyte or it is called pacemaker cells. So this is the yeah, cells that make up the cells that make up cardiac muscle. muscles. So this is called cardiomyocytes. Cardio means heart, myo means muscles, cells, yes, specialized cells. This cardiomyocyte, what is the function? It can produce spontaneous rhythmic contraction, that is spontaneous rhythmic depolarization. You know what is a rhythmic rhythm or rhythmic activities? Any of the movement or sound, it can repeated at regular intervals. Any of the movement which are repeated at regular intervals. Regular intervals. For example, contraction of the heart and relaxation. Contraction and relaxation. This is called a rhythmic. Spontaneous. Now our heartbeat functioning is spontaneous rhythmic depolarization. What is the meaning of depolarization? Depolarization. A change that occur within the cell. When the cell which receive the electric impulse, the electric impulse distribution. This is called a depolarization. For example, this is the cell or cell membrane. So when stimulation is occur here, the changes that occur in the cell membranes when the electrical discharge or shift of the electric discharge from one place to other place. So this is called a depolarization. Depolarization meaning is certain changes that occur when the electrical distribution on the cell membrane, on the cell membrane, it can produce action potential. This is called as depolarization. So, which initiate 
the contraction of the heart chambers. So a specialized cell which are present in the heart is called a pacemaker cells. What is pacemaker? Pacemaker cells. Yes, yeah, specialized cells are called pacemaker cells. They determine the rate of contraction of the entire heart. The pacemaker cells are otherwise called heart of heart. Otherwise called heart of heart. Because it initiates the contraction and relaxation of the heart chambers. In the heart, where the pacemaker is located, So our heart is fourth chamber, you know. So this is the right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and the left ventricle. There are four chambers. The pacemaker cells are the SA node. Because the heartbeat is initiated, a specialized block of muscles, cells. A specialized type of muscle cells are located the upper wall of the right atrium. This structure is known as SA node. SA node. What is SA node? Sino auricular node. Sino auricular node. Listen. A specialized cells which are located, situated. The upper wall of the right atrium is called the SA node or Sino atrial node. This is very important. This is otherwise called pacemaker cells because it generates impulse. What is the role of SA node? It generates impulse. That is stimulation. These impulses are transmitted all over the heart chambers. So this specialized route is occurred. This is internodal pathway. Internodal pathway. What is an internodal pathway? Inter means a gap or path between the one node to another node. There is another node is located on left side of the right atrium. Left side of the right atrium. This structure is called as AV node. AV node. What is AV node? Auriculoventricular node. Where it is located, the left side of the same right atrium. One more structure is RNA from the bundle of his, sorry, from the AV node, that is auriculoventricular node. This structure is divides into two branches. This is known as bundle of his. Bundle of his. What is the role of bundle of his? It connects the impulses between the auricles and the ventricles. Atria and the ventricles. Bundle of is divides into two branches. Two branches. That bundle of is located in the interventricular septum. Interventricular septum. What is interventricular septum? A gap between the two ventricles. That means right ventricle and the left ventricle is called interventricular septum. So where the bundle of his is located? The bundle of is arising from the auriculoventricular node that runs to the ventricles. When it enters the ventricles, it divides into two branches, main branches. The bundle of is connect the impulses from the auricles and the ventricles. Again, these two branches is running or enter into the ventricles. It divides into many branches. These branches are called Purkinje fibers. Purkinje fibers. So listen carefully. 
So main branches, there are two main branches again. It goes into all ventricular chamber. It divides into many branches. They are called as Purkinje fibers. Purkinje fibers. Okay. So these are the structure which connect or travel the impulses from the auricles into the ventricles. One more question asked me here. What is the root? The origin and the conduction of RBT is occur. The first structure is SA node, SA node to AV node, AV node to bundle of his, bundle of his to Purkinje fibers. Purkinje fibers. So this is the important root for origin and the conduction of the heartbeats. So the SA node or sino atrial node is located the upper wall of the right atrium. AV node also located lower side of the right atrium. Bundle of these are connect the impulse from the AV node because bundle of these are originate from the AV node and it divides into many branches to form Purkinje fibers. So this is the root. This pacemaker cells are important. The pacemaker other is called the SA node, sinoatrial node. Can produce depolarization, that is contraction. Depolarization means contraction. The early depolarization that occur in the pacemaker cells. For example, pacemaker cells. So there are several channels are there. Here is a cell membrane. Inside the cell membrane is always negative. Outside the cell membrane is positive. Why it is outside the cell membrane is positive? Because it contains more amount of the sodium ions. But inside the cell is negatively charged due to the potassium ions. Less amount of the potassium ions. Initially, the depolarization is slow due to influx of these sodium. Influx of the sodium. Influx means the sodium is more amount in outside of the cell membrane, moves inside. And the efflux of the potassium. Efflux of the potassium. Influx of the sodium, efflux of the potassium. So the, this initial movement is very slow due to very less amount of the voltage or electric charge. So immediately all the calcium ion channels, these are calcium gated channels, calcium gated channels. So immediately they activate the voltage gated calcium channels to increase the more amount of sodium enter from outside to inside the cell membrane and the potassium from inside to outside. When the sodium enter inside, outside to inside, this is called a depolarization. Potassium move from inside to outside. That means efflux of the potassium, influx of the sodium is occur. So this efflux of the sodium, influx of the potassium, Influx of the sodium, efflux of the potassium. This is the depolarization. This is called as repolarization. Listen here carefully. The depolarization initially is slow due to the movement of the sodium influx, potassium efflux. Increase the sodium influx, reduce the potassium efflux. After that, the minimum amount of the action potential needed so immediately the calcium gated channels are opened then increase the sodium influx and the potassium influx sodium influx is called depolarization repolarization is occur when the potassium influx through the potassium influx so this alternate exchange of the sodium and the potassium during this conduction of the impulses from the auricles into the ventricles Okay, the next two. What is heartbeat? Heartbeat. 
the rhythmic contraction and the expansion of the heart is called heartbeat the con <coughs> the contraction phase is systole and the relaxation phase is called the diastole relaxation is called as diastole what is the meaning of systole contraction of the heart chamber is called systole relaxation of the heart chamber is called the diastole so our heart produces two kind of sound one sound is love sound another sound is dub sound what is the normal heart beat in man there are 72 72 times per minute don't forget the human heart beat rate in adult is 72 72 times per minute so human heart produces two kind of sound the first sound is love the second sound is dub love and dub so these two sounds can be heard by using a instrument is stethoscope what instrument is used to hear the heart sound is stethoscope the first sound is love the second sound is dub how it is occur due to the, the first sound love sound is occur due to the closer of av valves closer of the av valves what is the av valves auricular ventricular valves these valves are otherwise called tricuspid valve and bicuspid valves the second sound is occur due to the closer of semi lunar valves semi lunar valves so that what is the function of the semi lunar valves and av valves i will explain it later so that is two sound love sound is first sound this occur due to the closure of av valves the second sound is called a dub sound it occur due to the closure of the semi lunar valves semi lunar valves okay snow sometimes the abnormal heart beat or excessive heart beat increased heart beat note it is important because one more push increased the heart beat is called the tachycardia what is meaning of tachycardia increased heart beat it may be Above seventy-two times or ninety times, more than ninety times, it is abnormal heartbeat. More amount of the blood pumped out from the heart. It is one of the problem we are facing. The condition is called as tachycardia. What is the condition is if the lower heartbeat, number of beat is reduced below fifty times per minute. This is known as bradycardia. Bradycardia. So bradycardia means. decreased heart beat decreased heart beat rate so this is note it, it is a important part two important word tachycardia is increased heart beat rate bradycardia means decreased heart beat rate now we we'll know about that the second sub topic is cardiac cycle the same diagram is that so this topic is cardiac cycle cardiac means what heart it is a two mark or it may be three mark question what is cardiac cycle the beginning of the one heart beat and the last until the beginning of the next heart beat is called cardiac cycle i repeat the beginning of one heart beat and the last until the beginning of the next heart beat is called as cardiac cycle cardiac cycle includes there are two one is systole another one is diastole systole another one is diastole so already i told what is systole 
contraction. Contraction phase is called systole. Relaxation phase is called diastole. So our cardiac cycle that events that occur are completed one cardiac cycle is 0.8 seconds. One cardiac cycle is completed 0.8 seconds. This cardiac cycle involves there are five phases. The phase one pure phase one is ventricular diastole. Ventricular diastole. Phase two atrial system. Atrial system. Then phase three is ventricular system. Ventricular system. This system is isovolumetric contraction. Isovolumetric contraction. Fourth phase, the same ventricular system. This is called a ventricular ejection. Ventricular ejection. Ventricular ejection. The fifth phase is ventricular diastole. Ventricular diastole. Okay, listen carefully how many phases or stages. Phase 1 is ventricular diastole. Phase 2 is atrial systole. Phase 3 means ventricular systole. That means ventricular contraction. Phase 4 is called ventricular systole. But what is it? This condition, isovolumetric contraction means same stage. Without changing the pressure inside the ventricles. Again, the ventricular systole is ventricular ejection because the blood is pumped out from the ventricles into the iota. The fifth stage is ventricular diastole. Actually, this is the first stage. Also, listen carefully. Already told you the our heart is four chamber. Four chambered heart. So this is the <coughs> right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. <coughs> Here the wall is present. Another one more wall is there. Here. The right atrium always receives deoxygenated blood through the two veins. One is superior vena cava, inferior vena cava. The right atrium always receives deoxygenated blood from the superior vena cava, inferior vena cava. Superior vena cava that collects the blood from the upper part of our body, head region. Inferior vena cava that collect blood from the lower part of the body. So the both veins are pour the blood into the right ear. So one more opening is present. This is called the coronary coronary sinus. What is the role of coronary sinus or vein that collect the deoxygenated blood from the muscles of the heart or wall of the heart because the heart it is a pumping uh, organ which transport blood to different parts of the body even though the working of the heart muscle receive a required certain amount of the blood the coronary sinus or blood vessel collect the deoxygenated blood that means impure blood and pour into the right atrium what are the walls which are present in the heart? So this must be no before entering the basis of the cardiac cycle. Here, one more blood vessels that arise from the right ventricles. Another blood vessels, so this one type of blood vessel, 
the next blood vessel is arising from the left ventricles left ventricles here the blood vessel arises from the right ventricle is pulmonary artery pulmonary artery the blood vessel arises from the left ventricle this is called aorta aorta okay another four blood vessel that coming from this lungs and they carry oxygenated blood they are pulmonary vein pulmonary vein one more thing is um, commonly all arteries carry the oxygenated blood from the heart to different parts of the body what is the role of vein which it carry the or transport the deoxygenated blood from the different parts of the body into the heart except pulmonary artery pulmonary artery pulmonary means lungs it takes deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs but pulmonary vein carry the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium so in general left atrium receives oxygenated blood or oxygen rich blood through the pulmonary vein right atrium receives deoxygenated blood what are the walls which are present between the auricles and the ventricles the right side of the heart the back flow of the blood is prevented by or controlled by the right side is tricuspid wall tricuspid wall tricus means three flaps walls the left side of the heart between the left atrium and the left ventricle is bicuspid wall bicuspid wall by means two it is two flaps one more walls are present at the base of pulmonary artery is called bio pulmonary wall another walls are present the base of aorta here it is a base of aorta this is aorta this two walls are called semi lunar walls semi lunar walls that is half moon shaped semi lunar walls the semi lunar walls so what is the location of these walls semi lunar walls semi lunar walls are located at the base of pulmonary artery and the aorta what in general what is the role of walls which prevent the back flow of the blood it is always allow the blood in one direction it is not return to the blood it is very important one more walls are present the inferior vena cava this also have walls and the coronary sinus also having walls the wall or present is called the eustachian wall eustachian wall is present in the inferior vena cava these are tepesian wall tepesian wall is present in the coronary sinus so normally in superior vena have vena cava have no walls even though they are contracts closed during the cardiac cycle so these are the walls which are prevent the backward flow of the blood come the first cycle or first phase is ventricular diastole ventricular contracts so what is the important events that during the ventricular diastole there is a increase the pressure increase pressure in the auricles auricles than the ventricles than the ventricles there is increased pressure in the auricles than the top ventricles another event that means opening of 
Yevi was. Opening of Yevi was. What is Yevi was? Auriculo ventricular was. Already I told you, auriculo ventricular was. Tricuspid and bicuspid walls are called auriculo ventricular walls or AV walls. Which walls are called AV walls? Tricuspid wall and bicuspid walls. Where it is situated? The tricuspid wall located between the right auricle and the right ventricles. The left side of the heart is separated by bicuspid walls. These two walls are called auriculo ventricular walls. By its name, these are situated between the auricles and the ventricles. Opening of AV walls, closer of opening of AV walls, closer of semi lunar walls. Semi lunar walls. Why it is the opening of AV walls? When the walls between the auricles into the ventricles. Because this opening of the walls, tricuspid and bicuspid walls. Blood flows from the auricles into the ventricles. Blood flows from the auricles into the ventricles. Closer of the semilunar walls. Once that, suppose the opening of semilunar walls, the blood flows through the pulmonary artery and iota. This can be prevented by opening of these auriculo ventricular walls. That means tricuspid and bicuspid walls. Closer of the semilunar walls. What will occur now? The blood flows from the auricles into the ventricles. <coughs> this is a passive moment. It is slow moment. So this is called the phase one. This is ventricular diastole. This is a ventricular contraction. This is a ventricular contraction. The second event. What are the important thing for seven? Second phase, phase two is atrial systole. Atrial systole means what? Atrial contraction. Now, the auricles, both auricles, right atrium and left atrium contract and it pushes the maximum blood. Now, the contraction of the auricles. Con atrial systole means what? Contraction of the both auricles. The blood, maximum amount of the blood eh, that reaches to the ventricles. Ventricles. It reaches until the total muscles are stretched and until the EDV. What is called as EDV means? EDV means what? End of diastolic volume. End of diastolic volume. <coughs> this is called the atrial system. When the contraction of the auricles, blood maximum amount of the blood flows from the auricles into the ventricles. Now the time both AV walls are open, the semilunar walls are closed, they increase the pressure inside the ventricles. So that blood flows until the length of the cardiac muscle fiber is increased. So that increase the length of the total length of the muscle fiber in the ventricles. The blood flows, the blood field into the ventricles. The total muscles are stretched. In general, the ventricular chamfer or the wall of the ventricle is thicker than the auricles. The total stretching of the muscle fiber, that is a cardiac muscle fiber, the blood is filled. So that is, that is end of diastolic volume. This condition is end of the diastolic volume. So great, the muscle is stretched. This condition is called the atrial systole. Atrial systole, atrial contraction occur. Now the AV walls are open. Semilunar walls are closed. Semilunar walls are closed. So totally the contraction resulting the blood filled into the ventricular chambers, it extend or stretching, the more muscle is stretched and increase the EDV, that is end diastolic volume and the stroke volume. SV means what? Stroke volume.
What is diastolic EDV? The amount of blood collects in your ventricles during the relaxed state. During the relaxed state. The amount of blood or volume of blood that collects in your ventricles from the auricle is called the end diastolic volume. What is called the stroke volume? Stroke volume means what? The amount of blood pumped by one ventricle, each heartbeat is called the stroke volume. The amount of blood pumped by one ventricle with each beat heartbeat is called the stroke volume. Okay. What is the next phase? Phase number three is what? Ventricular diastole. Again, come here. Phase number three is ventricular systole. Ventricular systole. During ventricular systole, AV walls are closed. Are closed. Semilunar walls are open. Semilunar walls are open. Are open. So the blood flows flows from ventricles to auricles. Ventricles to auricles. Ventricles to auricles. This is important. So the previous space, the blood is completely filled into the ventricles. In third stage, during ventricular systole. Ventricular contraction, the blood flows from the ventricles to the respective, that is pulmonary artery and the aorta. Pulmonary artery and the aorta. During this stage, AV walls are closed, semilunar walls are open. This ventricular systole is occur, is contraction, contraction of the ventricle is occur without change of the the length of the muscle fiber, hence it is otherwise called the isovolumetric contraction. Isovolumetric contraction. Why it is isovolumetric contraction? The ventricular contraction is occur, but there is no change in the size of the muscle fiber length and the ventricular chamber. Hence it is iso means what same stage, stable. Volume means what it is amount tablet. Because in previous phase, the entire muscle fiber of the ventricle is stretched. But in this stage, no stretching, no size of the muscle fiber, it is the same. Hence it is called a ventricular systole. One more ventricular systole is there. That is fourth cycle. This is given in your book, textbook. This ventricular systole is ventricular ventricular ejection. Ventricular ejection. Actually, this stage, the pumping action of the ventricles, so the blood forcefully flows through the pulmonary artery and the aorta. The blood from the left ventricle enters through the aorta. The blood from the right ventricles enters through the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery. So the heavy forcing of the blood during this stage also, AV walls are closed, semilunar cells are open. The blood forces from the ventricles into the artery, that means blood vessels. From the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery and from the left ventricle into the Iota. What is the fifth stage? <coughs> the pace 5 is ventricular diastole. One more thing a left. During the ventricular systole, that means ventricular ejection, the ESV is occurring. What is ESV? End of systolic volume. End of systolic Volume. What is end of systolic volume? The end of the ventricular contraction. The amount of blood 
is flows from the ventricles or amount of the blood remaining in the ventricles after the contraction after the contraction because end of systolic contraction but before that edv means end of diastole relaxed condition here the amount of blood remaining during systolic condition that is esv this state is called as end of systolic contraction systolic means ventricular contraction the fifth last phase is called the ventricular diastole is same thing in first phase what happened during the ventricular diastole during the ventricular diastole the atrial contraction is increased because the blood are completely filled into the auricles the pressure increase in the auricles than the ventricles so immediately opening of the av valves closer of the semilunar valves the blood flows from the auricles into the ventricles so beginning to the next is first stage after completion of the four stages the next fifth stage is same to the first stage that is because beginning stage is called ventricular diastole actually is given in your book so the last stage is this again it is increase the pressure in the auricles than the top ventricles hence the blood flows from the auricles into the ventricles the time the opening of the av valves and the closure of the semilunar valves okay students so this uh, this lesson completed up to the cardiac cycle we will discuss other classes from the cardiac cycle that means cardiac output and blood pressure and some other sub topics so i think this is uh, this video is very useful to you and uh, follow this video observe this video and uh, gather some knowledge and prepare well and read well thank you